up, guys? Uh, you know, I, I went ahead and shaved the mustache, and I thought I'd be looking like LeBron James or like John Jones or something awesome, something cool like that. I thought I came out looking more like Brigham Young or like uh, one of the Amish down in Missouri. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to get rid of it. I just can't own it. I just can't own this look. So, uh, Scott Webb asks, will jump roping increase my vertical? And if yes, how often should I do it? I swear, I, I thought I answered this, and uh, I didn't want to go through the archives archives of the YouTube. Uh, so here's my answer again, maybe. I think I answered it. But anyways, I'm going to go for it. Um, so jump roping uh, can increase your plyometric ability. Specifically, it's going to work on uh, the reactivity, uh, reducing ground contact time. Uh, but the only problem with with jump roping is is it's going to be uh, it's not going to be that much pressure after a while. I mean, you could literally jump rope uh, doing what do they call them? Hot potatoes or whatever. When you jump rope really fast, um, you could do it for ten minutes. So I mean, it would be good if you could gradually increase the intensity uh, so that can, you could continue not only to strengthen your plyometric response but also uh, maybe even add a little strength into it. And so what I've done is. So you start with regular jump roping, uh, then you move to doing one foot or double unders, one foot or double unders, and then the next step is to do one-footed double unders. So uh, I think in another video I, I, I demonstrate some one-foot double unders maybe, but it's a hard thing to do and it also um, makes you reduce your ground co contact time and also puts more pressure, more um, more tension in the movement. So uh, that is a good way to increase your reactivity and even some strength. Um, but I wouldn't rely on it. As we say in all our videos, you should take a comprehensive approach. So you should be working on your strength and your explosiveness and your technique and your reactivity, all that, uh, all in one. Uh, because jump roping itself is not going to be a great strength element, but will uh, have some reactivity plyometric benefits so hope that answers your question work up to the one-legged double unders if you're a boss you could do one-legged triple unders but <laughs> you'd have to be a boss for that i'd like to see so somebody does that i'd love to see a video of that so um how often should you do it i would uh, just include this part of your warm-up uh so it's a great way to um to get get the blood flowing and to warm up your tendons, warm up your muscles, and then increase the uh, intensity of the jumps. Uh, and if you're doing one-legged dumbbell unders, I mean, you're not going to be able to do 50 of them in a row. You'll probably be more like 5 to 15 in a row once you work up to that. So uh, if you're going to include it as part of your warm-up, I would start just doing regulars, work up to your double unders, and then uh, do your uh, one-legged double unders. So anyways... Hope that helps. Bye-bye.